Grasslands and crop fields in Minnesota are hopping this month. A summertime insect is thriving, reaching numbers higher than usual. Why are there so many grasshoppers this year and should farmers be concerned? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. A fitting soundtrack for a frenzied feel. Every year around this time of year, especially, um, we get questions about grasshoppers, but this year, definitely more so. Dr. Anthony Hansen is a U of M extension educator and entomologist. Why are we seeing high numbers of grasshoppers? Yeah, so really, grasshoppers like dry and hot conditions. Which is why August is typically their most visible month. So when it is cool and wet, grasshoppers don't do as well just because these fungal pathogens tend to get into the eggs, cause infection there. Grasshopper eggs hatch in late spring, which was once again hot and dry, giving them ideal conditions to survive and thrive, a trend that started in 2021. Where in particular are they thriving? Yeah, so what they like are grassland type areas. The prairie-like land at Highland Hills in Bloomington is prime feeding ground, but so too are crops. This is a six acre sample. Check out this video from a farmer in Canada showing the grasshopper hype is spanning a huge swath of North America's farmland. We just harvested our small grain, so driving the car through the ditch, it's like raindrops hitting your windshield as they're jumping around. Carolyn Olson is an organic farmer in western Minnesota. She shared this photo showing how grasshoppers made her burdock plant look like Swiss cheese. There's about a dozen scattered on the leaves. They're just feeding on leaves and that defoliation can cause significant yield loss sometimes in some of our crops. Olson has avoided crop loss, but Dr. Hansen says some farmers in greater Minnesota haven't been so lucky. As we get into late August, there's still potential for those grasshoppers to be causing more damage. Grasshoppers can lay about 200 eggs a season, even more if the drought conditions continue into fall, meaning next year could be just as bad, if not worse, if Mother Nature doesn't reverse course in the spring. It seems like it's been a buildup of grasshopper pressure as the years have gone. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Dr. Hansen says the average garden shouldn't be in danger, especially in urban areas. But if your garden is near a prairie or a crop field, he says trim the grass around it to keep those insects from jumping over.